Hey there! <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about making real coins on YouTube. Other than AdSense, we're gonna actually dive in on a step-by-step -step guide to collecting your coins so you can actually pay your bills and uh, live the life you really want. If you wanna see more, all you gotta do is keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Dude, that was such a good video. I swear I'm gonna- Come on! Hey, what's up you guys? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We're talking about collecting your coins on your YouTube channel. So if you've been here before, hey, if you're new, welcome. On this channel, we talk about social media and I feel like the biggest thing I've been really skipping over is monetization. Like likes and comments are cool, but it doesn't really pay for your mortgage or college tuition. Um, so let's talk about that because it's super important that you guys know the truth. So many other YouTubers are gonna tell you guys. Hello everybody, how to grow a YouTube channel, live off AdSense. Like AdSense is great, I'm sorry. Uh, but what if you wanna go beyond that? I feel like everyone's skipping over like really business one-on-one structure. So that's what we're gonna go in today. So if you came from this video from part one, you've known that I was talking about the content structure. I would really highly recommend, I really highly recommend watching that first. So maybe click over, I'll link it down below. Watch it in a separate tab and come back. But say you are experienced and you know your craft so well and you wanna take it to the next level. This video is for you. First, I'm gonna go into what I've really learned over the years, being on YouTube for seven, years and then I'll go into a step-by-step -step guide that will teach you how to make your money collect your coins a little bit of backstory I started YouTube actually posting doll videos it was back when YouTube wasn't cool wasn't trending it was just for fun and I've quickly realized when I was younger having the drive to create videos only it it's the best feeling ever but over time you might have felt this as well you lose motivation not because you don't love it anymore you don't love your subscribers it's because you don't see the goal you don't see how it lines up with your end future and that's because people have a lack of plan they have a lack of of you know planning for their future they don't know how it's gonna line up they're doing one thing and they don't know how to end how it's gonna end up for them and we're gonna we're gonna talk about goal strategy I don't ever consider people lazy when they don't post videos or when they're inconsistent just having a lack of plan a lack of purpose doesn't they don't know the bigger meaning behind it that's what I felt when I was really struggling to create content I was doing this for years I actually quit making videos and it was really really sad because I should have kept going but I didn't have a plan now fast forward 2018 I grew this channel from zero to literally like 27,000 subscribers in three months because I was actually planning I was consistent so I consider money as a huge variable of energy now it's not everything a lot of you guys were commenting that like Jade what if I'm doing this for fun like cool do it for fun but let's see how long you can last without food uh sorry so that was really harsh uh, we got the plan here, so I hope you guys are excited as I am. Here it is, guys. It's called Adam. So I want you guys to think about this like a step-by-step -step guide. Each A or each letter is actually a step of what you can sell. You might be confused whether you can stay on AdSense or where you should keep going. So this video is just gonna help you really understand what to do and where to go. I really recommend to imagine this in a one-year trajectory. For example, Step one, A, affiliate, digital product, merchandise, and E, events. Okay guys, this is how it works. A lot of people think to make, let's say, six figures a year, $100,000, cool. People think you need to have lots of AdSense, but there's a lot of people like Johnny here that doesn't have, you know, a thousand subs and 4,000 
hours of watch time to be eligible to get AdSense because basically if Coca-Cola wants to put an ad against your video, your video has to be at least eligible and this is the requirements. So what if Johnny is just not eligible? That's why we're using Adam, right? So this is the first step, affiliate marketing. Let's dive into quarter one where you can start being an affiliate for brands. Now guys, being an affiliate for brands is great. The way you can get paid is typically through commissions or a set fee. I would really recommend to think about getting the commission first because typically when you start being an affiliate for a brand, you don't know how many sales you can drive, so you don't want an upfront payment. So I feel like, imagine this, if you can contact, if you work with a watch brand or a fitness supplement, I recommend actually not doing the free option. I would actually work with direct payment or doing a revenue share. This way you're actually you know, tracking how much you're making and if they're a big brand, they will tell you how many sales you're making. You should demand it. So imagine this, if you're in a video saying, hey, this video was sponsored and I have a product that if you wanna buy it, you can use this coupon code. Typically you get like five to 10% of the product cost. So if you're selling this coffee for 10 bucks, okay, you get maybe a dollar and imagine you sell a hundred products a day, that's just a hundred bu a hundred bucks a day and you already have a full-time income in a month. It's super, super easy because it's much more on your end of creating a lot of content and getting that leverage. And then just when you're ready to sell your product to your followers and fans. And it's the best way to get started because you don't have to put any upfront cost, right? A lot of people, they start a business with no capital and that doesn't work like that. You need some money. <coughs> oh my God. Okay, so say you got your first $1,000 a month just from selling affiliate products. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Now, on top of it, let's go fast forward to quarter two. You've been doing affiliate marketing for three months. Now you can move to digital products. So ideas of what you can sell for digital products is typically coaching calls or you know personal time, or it could be a ebook or it could be a guide. Now, a lot of you guys might be vloggers and you might do lifestyle, so you're like, hey Jay, what do I sell? So now there's a thing called Cameo where you basically can sell personal videos to directly to your followers. So I would definitely do digital products in either video, photo, a custom phone call, or even an ebook. That's really popular for people maybe doing how-tos and tutorials. And imagine you sell a couple a day, that's already a hundred bucks times 30 days, that's $3,000, we're already, we're already collecting our coins. And I don't know if you guys know this, this, but everything I'm talking about like overlaps. So whether you're doing something for three months and you add on a digital product, you can always follow through, if that makes sense. So let's fast forward, halfway in the year technically, and maybe you wanna sell physical merchandise. Now the reason why I put physical merchandise heavily like towards the end is because you don't want to sell a bunch of people that don't know who you are. Merchandise is typically to be personally building relationships, like people who personally love you. And people who personally love you it needs a lot of time to gain trust from your content. Too many people shove down people like merchandise when it's like too early in the game. I would wait three to six months. Unless you are extremely, extremely confident about it, I would hold off just a little bit so you can sell other products that give people more value. Typically, you lose a lot of money with apparel. The revenue is big, but the profit margin is extremely small. That's the only thing with merchandise, but uh, you know, Logan Paul makes like a couple million a year on his Maverick merchandise line, so. Now for events, but again, you need money for venues. Venues cost money. You need probably contracts to make sure you're able to sell. You need to pay for travel. So a lot of people really skip over events, but I feel like it's super important to do events once you're at a point where you have a lot of people in a certain area. I would highly recommend to sell a virtual ticket by creating a live event just on YouTube or Facebook and create like a private link so people can buy a virtual ticket or like a virtual seat and watch you about whatever you're talking about. Um, if you don't know what to talk about if you're doing a live event, um, it's typically either like a story time, you could be like Tana Mojo, Mojo, Tana Mojo, who talks about her life and does comedy. Or you could be someone like 
Ty Lopez that talks about how to grow on social media, make money, and it's like a live mastermind class. So there's a lot of things you can do with live, but the reason why I'm saying live is important because if you don't have a face-to-face -face connection to your followers and they can't see you and you can't see them, you're also gonna lose trust. I think a lot of people need to realize the reason why Taylor Swift goes on tour isn't because I'm gonna make so much, but they make more money on the actual momentum of doing tours. Because if you see your fans and they see you, they're most likely gonna be more obsessed with you and buy more products in the future. That's only I feel like people go on tour either too early. Um, so make sure you hold off but, and make sure you just nurture relationships in the meantime with uh, Adam, yeah, Adam, and use that to really gain momentum. Coca-Cola gives you a product to hold, and if you hold this bottle, you get a dollar per sale. That is called affiliate marketing. You're selling someone else's product or expertise in return for money or some type of currency. And then you go to digital product because say Johnny here, right? Johnny, Johnny's right here. Johnny wants to sell an ebook and Johnny makes money from an ebook because it literally costs zero dollars to make because it's a digital product and all his subscribers he's building slowly buys it for 10 bucks or 20 bucks. And then Johnny goes into selling merch because his fan base is growing and then he makes events which brings a larger audience because they're seeing him face to face. And when people see face to face interaction, they're more loyal and they keep going and buying whatever products he says and this just keeps going round and round until Johnny makes his goal $100,000 a year. That is Johnny right there. He is super happy. I feel like freedom is success. And the only way you can do that is if you have a really good step-by-step -step plan, um, at least to keep you accountable. And you can always, always alter your strategy over time. But this is just an overall thing you can keep in your mind. And uh, I don't know, I think it's quite cool. Just like four steps. I have a few people that make around six to seven figures a year following adam i feel like my subscribers honestly make more money than me at this point but anyway friends making literally like fifty thousand dollars a month i hope this video was helpful you guys i care about you so much if you so far enjoyed it please give this video a like it will, it will let me know that you like it and hit the subscribe button to learn more and watch more content but other than that i i don't really need anything from you guys but if this video was helpful please share it to someone who really needs to learn how to really have a plan and really see the future so whether your parents don't believe in you you can literally show them your five-year plan about how you're going to make a hundred thousand dollars a year from youtube because you can prove them that if you make a thousand from affiliate three thousand from digital products another three thousand from selling merch another five thousand from selling live event tickets you have more than what you need and there's a lot more explanation behind it because you have strategy so shout out to the comment winner guys shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode i want you guys to know i'm here for you please 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 right now like this video and drop below your comment or your question and i will get back to you the point of this channel is actually build community whether you are really stressed out you have somewhere to go and whether you don't know what to post next and you want to give up this channel is here to motivate you and educate you and all the followers and subscribers here does i don't want them to worship me or anything like that it's honestly just to give back to you guys because i only want to help you so make sure you subscribe just to join the family it's just a family everything you see here and more will be available on the pbj app available this summer i hope you have an amazing amazing day i will catch you guys in the next one i love you so much goodbye